The IQs fall, watch the murder and death happen, cause after all, killing granny is sweet. Oh, we're so liberal, oh, we have sweet little voices, oh, we're gonna take good care of you, we're so liberal. But oh, you don't like us, well there's Herman Cain on the other side. That's right, he worked for the Federal Reserve. He's got a new tax for you. That's <laughs> so cute. Uh. I can't handle it anymore. <laughs> I just can't handle it. I mean, I have to sit here and see these people naked in front of me. All their crimes, all their sickening gibbering, getting off on conning people. The demonic Bill Gates eyes just fired up, full psycho killer on parade. I mean, you look at that guy, and it's just, those eyes are on. I mean, it's Predator, and it's he enjoys it, and he prances around, and it just, it just goes on and on for him, the power trip. Ugh. We're, we are uncloaking you, though, buddy boy. We're uncloaking you. All right, you've held long enough. Steve in New York, you're on the air worldwide. Uh, thank you, Alex. I love that lullaby. I'm dying to see the YouTube version of it coming out. <laughs> Um, anyway, yeah, I spent over the weekend at the Occupy Wall Street, and yeah, it was pretty interesting. In fact, I'm like the woman earlier was mentioning about the cops being actually pretty sympathetic in you know Houston and other areas, and that and I'm really finding that in a lot of ways the cops that are hanging out around that area are pretty much been accepted as being part of the protest, as being part of the 99 percent. You know, they're going over talking to people, asking them what their sign means, you know, what they're about and stuff, and in general, there's a good discourse all around. People are, you know, talking to, you know, you've got your liberals and your conservatives and your Wall Streeters and everybody talking back and forth. And I think that's something that, you know, we really haven't had in a long time. It's like a, a giant living room in the middle of the city. No, you're right. Uh, and, 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 and that's why the system wants us to not talk to the police. They don't want the police talking to us because we're all just humans. We're all Americans. And the police are going to have their future destroyed. In fact... When I started going into that whole rant about how we're being poisoned, the Dallas cops did put a cage around us and were kind of bugging their eyes out. And they had a gang unit. Some of the cops came over and said, no, we know about the Federal Reserve. We appreciate what you're doing, you know, off record. But that was the commanders, you know, people in charge. Some of the cops were laughing when I was saying this is this is not federal. And I went over and I said, listen, I was real nice. I said, this isn't a joke. This is serious. And the cops are kind of giving me this where they try to intimidate you, where they do the scary eye. And I just looked at the guy and I said, let me tell you something, buddy. They're poisoning your water and your food. Cancer's up several thousand percentage points. Diabetes. The, they, the GMO is sterilizing all mammal species to almost 100% within three generations in every study. And I was explaining to them rat studies. And, they, and some were still kind of laughing about it. And I said, listen, it isn't funny. And I said, a lot of you aren't going to listen, but when your young wife dies of breast cancer early or your kid dies, it isn't funny. Then they look kind of freaked out, but then kind of aggressive. And then I saw him go over to the head cop and, and I heard the cop going, he was being really mean and saying horrible things. I don't appreciate it. I, and I, and I, could, and I kind of almost went over, but I was tired about to leave and she was saying something to him. Uh, but the point is that cop was kind of mad at me for saying that. Like I was threatening his kids, telling the guy don't let your kid, you know, use cocaine. It's not trying to hurt your kid. We're telling you don't drink out of bisphenol A or don't give your kids this baby formula made out of deadly uh, toxin-filled, uh, uh, you know, garbage and melamine and uh, all of it, the mercury, warning you. You know, when the cops are laughing at you, I'm like, listen, buddy boy. This isn't a joke. Just because you think it's funny doesn't make it one. I'm a real person that's done the research that cares enough to break my trance and come out here on a Friday night and warn you. So don't play games. Now, I didn't get like that, but that's basically what I was trying to explain to him. This isn't a game. I'm sorry. Go ahead, sir. Oh, you know, the other thing, too, like you mentioned before, the idea of move on and all these organizations trying to co-opt it, which they definitely are. But... This is it, what they're sort of organized through this great, this grand assembly type of thing. So everybody sits down and discusses. They have to have, you know, basically a consensus on what they do for the marches and this and that. And there's so many people that are so vehemently against being co opted by anybody that, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll gladly accept the donations and stuff, but they're, 
you know, they're refusing to like go by anybody's particular, you know. Diet no, you're right, or, and and because it's a pure democracy, it remains a mob. It's got to be a republic. They should adopt the constitution. They should adopt the constitutional uh, dean, Ron Paul, who's already figured it all out. And again, I didn't just believe what Ron Paul said. I did my own historical research. Perfect voting record, understands our problems, predicted it 30 years out. I mean, the fact that Ron Paul is at this point, this paramount point in his career of liberty, right as all this is cresting is how the universe works. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Tyranny's cresting, liberty is beginning to crest. And the collision is on. Every bit of energy we put into this now is key. And yeah, it's because Occupy Wall Street thinks they're being totally nebulous and not having any direction. That's why Obama can project onto this white wall whatever he wants. They don't understand that. They should adopt Ron Paul. Instead, they're letting operatives like move on kind of slowly control them to where they're now we're not going to that alex jones thing he's for ron paul and ending the fed we like the government i mean that's what i've been told it's not the government see they're just but again that's not everybody in the movement but because they don't take on an ideology well the globalists have projected one onto them great points more calls coming up tons of news kurt haskell popping in with big news on the underwear bomber uh, news, uh, that inside job. We got big, big info coming up. A bunch of breaking stuff. You'll want to stay with us. Our rights as individuals to freely purchase dietary supplements over the counter are under constant attack. The globalists want to ban all supplements formulated after 1994. Governments are hoarding raw materials, affecting our ability to purchase these products at a reasonable price. Even organic foods are stripped of nutrients due to overuse of soil and compromised growing conditions. Storable foods are essential, but you also need to make sure you have the nutrients you need to stay healthy during emergencies. Go to survivalrx.com today and see the amazing line of storable supplements they have to protect the ones you love. The owners of survivalrx.com have been in sports nutrition for over a decade and they realize the need for long-term storable vitamins. The result is a triple nitrogen flushing method, which allows these vitamins to maintain their strength for decades. Again, go to survivalrx.com. That's survivalrx.com. Alex Jones here with vital information concerning our nation's fragile food supply. Folks, there are some truly dangerous trends forming, and I think it's important for my listeners to do three things right away. Number one, study the past. History really does repeat itself. Number two, learn to spot the dangerous food shortage trends. Number three, take decisive action. A perfect storm is brewing or a global food crisis. That's why I'm telling everyone to read the new book, Rising Prices, Empty Shelves. Warning signs that trigger the deadliest famines in history. Don't get caught unprepared when the crisis hits. This book is only available at risingpricesemptyshelves.com. You'll also get a free copy of Supermarket Survival, How to Cut Your Grocery Bills in Half. Again, that website is risingpricesemptyshelves.com. That's risingpricesemptyshelves.com. If you're a man over 40, you may feel like half the man you used to be. Are you gaining more body fat? Are you feeling tired? Are you losing your sex drive? It's not your fault. After 40, your body's testosterone may start dropping. And if you are an African-American man, you're at a higher risk of your testosterone turning into estrogen. Be the man you used to be. Call for a risk-free trial of Ageless Male, a natural supplement shown to raise testosterone by 61% and maintain healthy, normal levels. You can feel the youthful energy and the healthy sex drive you once had. And Ageless Male is all natural. No injections or appointments. Just one quick phone call. Get your risk-free trial of Ageless Male. Call 1-800-497-8345. That's 1-800-497-8345. With Ageless Male, you can raise your testosterone naturally by 61%. Call 1-800-497-8345. That's 1-800-497-8345. I'm ready for it. Okay, Kurt Haskell, who survived the underwear Christmas Day bomber, who's a lawyer, has been covering the trial 
big breaking news on that front. Of course, he broke the news almost two years ago. The government got him on the plane, but it gets even crazier. That's coming up for one segment. Then I'll continue with calls. I need to start getting into this news. BPA levels in humans far higher than previously thought. No kidding. It's in everything now. What's it do? Lowers your life expectancy, increases cancer, lowers fertility, and makes you obese. Amongst a big other list of horrible things, all by design. Uh, different companies are now lobbying to not allow it to be taken out. <laughs> when it's very easy to use other plastic uh, formulas. Continuing. Fast and furious weapons were found in Mexico. Cartels enforce her home. I want to spend a lot of time today on this, at least five minutes or so. Uh, the design destruction of Barack Obama, Rahm Emanuel, the Democrats all uh, deserting him by design. Uh, what Herman Cain is up to, that's all coming up. I briefly want to encourage listeners to visit Infowars.com for the anti-globalist t-shirts. It'll help you meet like-minded people in your area. And the purchase also supports this broadcast and the news site and our growing organization and reporters and server costs and everything we're doing here. We couldn't have done any of this without you. And we've got a gr great films uh, that are available at Infowars.com, like Invisible Empire, Terror Storm, Obama Deception, uh, Endgame, Fall the Republic. And we're carrying the best gravity filters I've ever used. Because I needed some more of these getting ready for what's coming down in this country. And I did a lot of research. I had Tim in the back try out a bunch of different brands. We have found with the specs and a side-by-side -side comparison with all of their competitors, ProPure is the way to go. Stainless steel, gravity filter system, bigger filters, more filtration. Just go look at the side-by-side -side at InfoWars.com. Click on the shopping cart and check out the water filtration systems. We also have our stainless steel water bottles that have InfoWars.com on them uh, that uh, do hundreds and hundreds of gallons and reduce everything, you know, make swamp water safe to drink. This, though, basically gets almost everything out. Fluoride's so small, it's even harder. It reduces fluoride, but you can buy special filters that uh, knock it out to non-detectable levels. Again, all available at InfoWars.com, ProPure, and your purchase supports this broadcast and what we are doing. Let's go ahead and talk to Darby in North Carolina. Thanks for holding her on the air. Hi, hey, Alex. How's it going, man? Good. I'm 21. I've been listening to you about three years. I want to thank you for waking me up, man. You truly changed my life. But anyway, um, I'm from, I live close to Charlotte, North Carolina, and they had the Occupy uh, Charlotte meeting on Saturday. And I got to say, there's a lot of, there's a lot of people with the right intention down there. And there's a lot of people that know something's wrong down there. But the vast majority are just entirely clueless about the source of tyranny and oppression. Well, America. that's why you're there. You're, you, you were there to educate them. Did you have any success? I did. I, I was met with some opposition. It's funny. When they were first, when they first started the protest, and the guys were running through the rules of the protest that were given to them by the police, the last things he ends it with, and the protest started in a park right next to the Charlotte Federal Reserve Building. The, first, the last thing he says is, don't mess with the Fed. And he points over there, and he's like, this isn't CNPD, people. These are federal agents. Oh, just be scared. Oh, no, no. That's what Occupy uh, San Antonio said. They said, those are federal agents, and the move on people were running it now. And they said, you do not join with Ron Paul or Alex Jones. I'm going to try to air that Medina interview tonight where they told him all this. They were good a few weeks ago, but now... And, and you tell them, no, it's not federal. And they go, shut up, right winger. And you're like, no, no, that's who stole the trillions. I like George Soros. He runs everything now. I mean, it's just they are so ignorant and they love their ignorance. Incredible. You are listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Hi, folks. This is Alex Jones. I'm looking for people that have the wisdom to spot savings, opportunity, and recognize risk. Saving means to make money. The Calbin Pure Soap Company can save you thousands of dollars and give you good old-fashioned real soaps that are triple concentrated and twice as good as what you're using now. Soaps made from vegetables.